Good afternoon, respected viewers. Here I am at 32 Smith Square, London. This was the headquarters of the Conservative Party from about 1920 until around 2005, when David Cameron became leader of the party and he shifted it to offices on Victoria Street. Ironically enough, this is now Europe House. This is the information office of the European Commission in the United Kingdom. Not for much longer, because within a year and a half, the UK will exit the European Union. Um, so here, many great victories were planned. There's a famous photo of Cecil Parkinson and uh, Margaret Thatcher looking out the window up there, greeting the jubilant crowd on their 1983 election victory. Um, but Cameron moved out for various reasons. He'd worked in Conservative Central Office, as was, in the 80s. Uh, but it was, it was a honeycomb of little offices. They say there was a febrile atmosphere there. It made people pro prone to plotting. I went in a few times in 98. I was only over the ground floor. I met someone who I was sure was is Preeti Patel, now Cabinet Minister, who was working for the Conservative Party uh, in a junior role back then. Um, anyway, uh, I remember in 2001, William Hay came out of here it was resignation at dawn and it was filmed from across the square and he read out his resignation set statement within hours of being defeated in that election so um anyway here's smith square as you can see it's a very handsome 19th century square and there's this huge church in the beginning in the middle of it i remember when i when i began at oxford there was a um concert we could have gone to that december but it was going to be 35 quid each we decided not to go in the end and uh, sir jimmy goldsmith a billionaire founder of the referendum party he uh he had a memorial service here. What's ironic about the former Conservative Party headquarters being the EU um, office here is because the Conservative Party, for their own internal reasons, decided to hold this referendum on leaving the EU, and now the United Kingdom is indeed leaving the EU. But there we are. Now, if we go back to the 1940s, um, if you come over here, Labour had the headquarters on the same square, Transport House, as in the Transport Union had the headquarters there previously. You can't make it out very well. It's where all the scaffolding is over there. So that is Smith Square, and just down Lord North Street, you can't quite see Lord North Street from this angle, will be Cowley Street, and that was the headquarters of the Liberal Democrats. I think it still is, actually. It's a real nerve centre of, of uh, political London, only half a mile from Parliament. That's all for the moment.